karibu karibu welcome welcome uh, this is my channel i'm continuing to talk about online uh, we have talked of getting yourself up and beginning we have seen a 17 year old in south africa being a millionaire just from working each day doing something though he did stocks he was doing stock on online and managed land it took him approximately two years to gain that so it was not money like that he had to learn how to trade online tried a few of them go went for a mentor somebody to mentor him and show him how to look and trade online and read how to do the accounts there balancing his money so that is one but even here in kenya there are so many young people who have found jobs and are working online there are those who have found their niche the niche is like, what do you love to do? Do you like to draw? Yeah, you can take it online. Do you like to knit? You can sell what you have knitted online and have your community. Because these are the things I wanted to say. Now we are all online. I've said how the steps, there are steps of getting online. Now this is the part two. Part two is now you are already online. You need to be dedicated and focused on what particular thing you're doing. Okay. Then secondly, get the knowledge and follow those who have done it. Don't just be alone. Call up that person, connect, email, text, so that they can guide you how to go. It might take three to six months before you get a break and get some money from what you're doing online. I'm talking of online, or not manual. So those ones, now that's the second thing. Get the mental knowledge, read, learn it, do it, and invest on yourself to be the best in that. Okay? Then share what you are doing with others because you have uh, the medias of Facebook, Twitter, all the others, like TikTok, WhatsApp. Share the opportunity because you love it, you have the passion for it, you are doing it, you can share. Share with the other people, call them, tell them, post it, text so that they can know what you are doing. When you are teaching others what you are doing or what your business is all about, you learn more about it. Yes. There is where you will even, when you have started earning, you will tell them, my first check after six months was just this much. I got $100. $500, $1,000. That's your testimony because you have worked all that while and you have gotten a product. You have gotten something, a gig, a results from it. So you share. And then you form, because you're welcoming people to the business, you will be now their leader their person to show them the ropes and ways to go. So you are forming a community. You are forming your network. You are forming your team. You need a team to help you walk this walk on the online. Remember we said you are focusing on some things that you know you, are, you love to do? I realized the other day there is a whole marketing funnel based purely on playing games and you're being paid money you're paid money for playing games if you want to be to be paid 
for playing games connect to me just say hey i want to play games i'll send you the the link and you click yeah just playing that game over and over and over there's several games and you'll be paid there's a lot of money on games that are being created that's a side that's a whole team of those offices or websites or uh, business jobs yeah playing games you get money I'm not <laughs> I'm not saying that's the only thing there are so many niches you can sell your services what you can do you can sell things online or you can be the, the person keeping the things and taking transporting transfer deliveries so if something is bought in Amazon you are being called you are the one to put who is to deliver that that is service okay okay that is so you need a team from that team also will increase your income okay you learn more and then it will increase your income so from that team I also online in Facebook and my team I started a community called Ripra Chopper where it is your own responsibility to know that you read daily, whether you're just reading the Bible or reading a page of an article or reading what? Read, pray, action. That means there are so many actions. There is prayer, meditation, all the other things that we mentioned. And then have, be hopeful and be patient. Be honest and be patient. P. The last P is patience. Patience pays. And also honesty and patience. I have learned those with time. And I know it is very, very important to be honest. Honesty is really like the center key of integrity. Patience really gives you the control of your emotions. Your emotions of being ah, frustrated, sad, somebody has done this. Ah. Being patient and really thinking. When you are patient, you will be calm. And you will be able to think the right thoughts. When they come from here, the frontal cord cortex you are thinking consciously and you make good decisions so that was just a community that I, I created online will want you to be a leader so we have said you are forming this community or that team or people joining you on whatever you are doing they want you to show them what you are doing. You are going to be a leader. And being a leader, you will be able to solve problems. Because people come with so many, many questions. That's number one. Two, they have different, different personalities. Others just ask things that you would say, dang. You should know the answer of that. But you are not supposed to say that as a leader. You are supposed to answer it. Or reframe it and ask them back. Angeline, what would you think the best answer would be for that question? So, the person answers themselves. So being a leader, second thing for solving problems, you have to be a good communicator or a communication, have communication skills. That means they, 
majority of your team members or most people can understand what you're saying, can comprehend. They hear, they listen. So they will hear and understand what you're saying. That is listening. They will listen to you. Okay? Be command, in command of what you're saying, the substance, the matter you're talking about or teaching them. Then you have to be approachable. Not um, sad or uh, very aggressive most of the time. You have to be approachable, humble, non-judgmental. You don't judge people. Maybe they know or they feel that they know more than you. Yes, I found those even in class. Students who you really see and you know, okay, yeah, this student knows most of the things until I think they are passing me a bit. They know most of this. Give appreciation to where it is due as a leader. Yeah, say John, Peter, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay? Or I, I can't, I don't know the answer right now. Can you give me time to recite that and tell you next week? Yes, because you cannot know everything. Whatever you are doing, there are those questions you might not know the answer. Admit it then and tell the, the person, the student, the team member that you're going to research. Or they can help you with the answer. Because after being a leader of such teams or being just a teacher, I know there are some team members who will just come to try and find out how they can pull you down by asking some questions that they know, they have really researched and you, have no, you are not aware about. So they are trying to pull you down. That's how you say Oh, for now, I don't know the answer, Peter, but give me time. Next uh, Thursday, I will tell you the answer. That's a good one. You are not saying it is wrong. You are not saying you know it. You, you are not fumbling around. Uh -uh. You don't know the answer now, but you can research and find it, given time. But if Peter knows it, let him say it. Yeah, so be flexible and available for your team members to reach you. So in even online, you would say, ah, they shouldn't know me. Well, you should be available. Check your Gmail address, your texts, your your platform, wherever all of you can be meeting, so that. You keep time and answer all their questions. That will keep them. They will feel they are part of the group because you are available. When they want to, to ask about the group, about the, the team, they are there. Solving problems is also a place where you can touch somebody emotionally. When they are down, you have realized you can talk to one at a time. It is a hard time right now with the COVID, with the, everything going down, jobs cut into 75% of jobs really went down the drain. And we are trying to pick up, it's still hard. So financially, it is hard. That one is there with everyone plus you the leader, plus your people you are leading. So with that understanding, you will be able to listen to your team members. When they say, because every month, they, every week we are meeting, but when you are meeting, you need to come here with your $10 or your $20 so that we put together and do this group. Yeah, some people, the $20 might not be there. 
especially for starting right now it is not there am i available am i able to understand okay without a job you cannot speaking from africa setup if you don't have a job no one might give you a loan because they need a sign or somebody's letter saying give the loan because of my car my house my property if you don't have property there is no loan you don't have a job there is no way you can get a, a loan apart from those small so circle circle groups where we have the drivers have a circle the family so small small money but for business to start your business you will put something but not so much others you start with zero money but you build it that means you put the work in so it is you every day doing the emails doing the the games you have to do answering the questions the surveys doing all this to build up within 30 days or 60 days you have earned some credits and that credit becomes money in dollars so that is where you can start from just answering surveys and doing things being a copy typist typing work for people um editing doing things editing videos listening to videos and do giving reviews and then you earn from that even in a day if you get ten dollars steve harvey says get that do something and get that ten dollars then continue the next hour and do another ten dollars so if you do 10 hours whether it is in two days or in three days you have 10 hours you have 10 times 10 is 1000 10 times 10 is 100 so this 100 how many days do i need to get a thousand so if it is two days i've gotten 100 how many days do I need to get a thousand dollars? So you add it, whether it is a day, 10, but there the rate is $10, uh, $10 per hour. So in a day you can work for eight hours, that is $80. Then the tax is taken and all the others. You remain with, uh, let's say you remain with 65. So each day is 60, let's say 60 each day. 60 times five days is 300. So in two weeks, you've made $600. So in one month, you have made 120. Yeah, 1,200. So that is your pay. So you repeat the small amount you get because what you have done, you repeat it and get. And that is what the basic manual work is. Even online, that works. And that is what is needed. And it is paid per minute or per hour or per day. or It depends on the type of work. But some of them, is you put it out there and it will continue paying you residual income. It comes small in bits and then it picks up. Like the YouTube. It will ever be there, but it will pay you small passive income. Thank you, thank you everyone. This is a long one. But I hope you understand more. I'll come with a specific one tomorrow too. God bless.
výhodné.